So if you'd seen my Apollo lead scraper, or if you're just looking for a lead scraper to be able to get leads, their email addresses, their phone numbers, the companies and all of that, I've got an update for you. The Appify actor that I had been using for the Apollo lead scraper is broken, but I have found a new one. A new one. It is called the Leads Finder, and I have built a new workflow. It's more or less the same as my old Apollo lead scraper, and it works pretty much the same. But what it's able to do is it's gonna use the new actor. It's gonna be able to take your inputs and out put a list of contacts that you can then use to either further enrich the data in a, another workflow or to be able to contact those people to be able to find people to sell to. So I've got some data here, just some simple inputs. I'm looking for industry, marketing, advertising, and job title, marketing manager, company size, 11 to 20, location, Nevada. I can include some keywords if I want. I'm not going to, but let's just go ahead and run the workflow. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna lock in the data and then it's gonna pass it to the AI agent who's going to structure our JSON request for our Appify actor. I'll explain all this in just a second. Um, it's gonna append the information that I requested into my Google Sheet that I'll go ahead and give you as well. It makes the request to Appify and then it outputs our responses. It checks if that there actually is a response. So do we have anybody that came through here? And then if so, it uh, double checks that we have all the information that we could be using and then adds it back into the sheet. Now I will admit, I'm a little surprised that I only got five. That's uh, it's kind of weird that we only got five. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this up. Um, I personally don't think this lead scraper is as good as the other one was. Um, it's just, they were pulling from Apollo before and now they're pulling from some other source of information. I just don't, um, I just haven't seen, uh, anything really great from it, but it's, it's better than nothing. It's inexpensive. So let's just go ahead and search the marketing, uh, and advertising industry. Let's just, that's all we're going to search for. Let's go ahead and run it again, see how many we get. So this should be a really broad search. Should actually take a minute because it's got to pull all that data. Um, for some reason it's running a second time. You know, my self-hosted version of NADN has been doing that. I don't know why, but okay, we got a hundred. So we got 191 of them matched my criteria, um, meaning that they had the website, they had a company LinkedIn and a LinkedIn. So if I go over to my spreadsheet, come over here, it did run it a second time for some reason. Uh, but here we got, we got all this extra information down here. Um, lots and lots of inputs, pretty awesome. So this does give us a ton of data to be able to work off of, to be able to find our leads and then reach out to them. So, you know, node by node, how does this thing work? I've got customer avatar details here, set node. I'm just setting all that information that we got from our form. Um, this AI agent here uh, takes that information, passes it through a pretty simple prompt. Basically, we're just constructing a JSON based on the data. We do have to normalize our location because if you don't put in the location correctly, the API will break. So we have to have it all lowercase and you know kind of structured a certain way. Um, one thing to note is I do have my fetch value set to 100. Um, if you don't have a fetch value set at all when you make the request, the default is 10,000. And that can get a little expensive. So instead, I'll just do it to 100. Um, you can up and in increase that, decrease that if you want. And then we have the output here. So it's going to fetch it, it's gonna, looking at the company size, the location. Uh, it's going to put in all that those details for us. And we get just some examples and then some, you know, some what not to do. Uh, do not omit the fetch count, always include it. And that's just there just because I don't want to spend 15 bucks on a test showing you guys how to do this. All right, uh, all that information gets passed into uh, Google Sheets, just added to our customer avatar info sheet here that just tells you what you've searched for. That way you have a record of it. And then the details, get checked through, um, get run through the, the Appify lead scraper node here, method is set to post. We've got this URL. If you need to find the URL, you can just come over to the lead scraper, come over to API, down to API endpoints. And I'm using the run actor synchronously and get data set. And, you know, with 100 you know, value, you know, the number of records I'm looking for, that should be not a problem. If you're gonna be looking for 10,000 or more, you might wanna consider doing, um, a different version of this, maybe run the actor and then do another process where you get the runs, um, maybe the 
uh, Git last run, build that into your workflow with a loop. If, and if that's not complete yet, then it keeps looping. Once it's complete, then it outputs the data. So just be aware of that. Um, but oh, down here, just finish off. You got to set up your API cr credentials, sorry, your Appify API credentials. Um, I'm using self-hosted, and that has a predefined credential type for it. I was just using a cloud version yesterday, and it does not have a built-in credential type for it. So if that is the case for you, um, all you got to do is come to the end of your URL endpoint, add a question mark and then token equals, and then your API key. In fact, you can find that here in the uh, endpoints. So if I find it here, it already has it kind of built in. So if you need to put in your API key yourself, you just put it in right there. All right, so we have a couple fields. Content dash type is application slash JSON. We have cache dash control. The value would be no cache. And then we have a body that we're sending JSON using JSON. And I'm having this set to the value of what our AI agent produced for us. It makes our JSON for us. I'm just setting that right in there. It gets our values. This code node here is checking to see if we got any data at all. If we did not get any data, this if node is gonna check that. It's gonna see, um, it's gonna get a, a JSON value of status of no data. That'll be in here. The, the code node outputs that uh, no data right here. If there's nothing, it'll see that and then it'll kick it to do nothing. It just won't add it to your sheet. Um, you can maybe set this to an error node or something like that to let you know. Otherwise, it then goes through this filter. This filter checks that we have a company website, that we have a company LinkedIn, and that we have a LinkedIn for our individuals over here. If so, if we have all of that, it filters out the ones that don't, and then it adds all that detail to our Google Sheets just set to append um, using our Appify lead scraper sheet. And the sheet is the Appify search results. And it just puts in all of our information. One quick note for the phone number, you have to have this, um, I, I put a um, an apostrophe and you know I went back and forth with Chad GPT for a long time on this one. Because you're getting the plus at the start of the number that gives you their um, country code. If you don't have this apostrophe, in the spreadsheet itself, this would actually just be an error. This column is an error. So um, not very fun. Uh, it breaks if you don't have that. But by having that, it kind of just sets it so it knows that it's not a, a calculation that it's doing, and it'll put it in correctly for you. But we put in all the information that they give us from Appify, and that's it. We get our nice little list in our, our lead list, and then we're able to run that and be able to uh, move forward in a sales operation. And if you think this is gonna be helpful for you, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like and share the video, it really does help. Looking to take your AI development further with more tutorials and free N8N workflows? Simply click the link in the description below to go to our free school community where you can find many more AI and N8N tutorials as well as all of our starter workflows that will allow you to start building AI tools directly into your business. And if you're serious about building AI automation tools into your business using N8N, be sure to check out our advanced community where we give new tools each week that will actually make a difference in your business. This is where we keep all of our exclusive tools and resources for committed business owners looking to ride this AI wave. In addition, you'll get direct access to me to help you through your setup and tech issues, our business building course library, and so much more. And as always, I'm Bradford Carlton. Let's automate your success together.